kind of what I had called last week where I was like, oh, I wonder if they'll bring back the other friend who was at, you know, the first episode showing next to Kagayama. And lo and behold, when the MC is practicing his handstands, here comes that <laughs> other, you know, uh, past colleague from the middle school days. And then they introduce his team. So it pretty much was what Begins. I thought. With the, yeah, with the limited <laughs> episodes of like, okay, you now have to introduce your main kind of rival. And now that's where we're going to get to. So we also found out that the voice of that guy is actually Hinata, which oh. is very hard to believe because it is very, it is much, much higher. Yeah, pitch. it, it I is. I, I double and triple, triple checked. Yeah. The personality definitely matches though, in some regards. Oh, with vo- voice inflections. And... Exactly. Yeah. Voice inflections sound exactly like this. They actually sound spot on. Yeah. Well, you guys were, what was this episode three or four? Are we reaching the drop point, Taylor? Is that where you're leading into? No, no, I'm not going to drop it. But I have to say that I'm a little bummed out by it. Like, I just feel like I don't care about any of these characters. I feel like they've been really lazy about making us, like, invested or interested in them. I don't know. I can't really get a feel for any of their personalities because they all are just kind of the same generic, like, positive personality. Um, Their coach, the joke about their... I'm sorry, their captain and his wife is getting really old. I've heard that joke like eight actually, times now. I don't care. <laughs> well, I'm getting sick of it. Pitch with, pitch with certain audiences. Yeah, I actually. It's for the sentence out there. Yeah, it's just like, oh, yeah, my wife. It's like, it's like, and everybody's just like, we've never met this wife. She does. She most likely doesn't exist. Every yeah, time I mean, you, I, you talk about it, I think it's hilarious. I thought it was funny the first time, too. I don't know. And then, like, I'm okay maybe, with it. The, like the MC, like I have no read on his personality at all. Like he's he basically it just seems to wander about aimless and is just one hundred percent influenced by whatever he eyeballs that day. Like yeah. he just happened into a uh, Ramen's rhythmic gymnastics thing, and he's like, "Well, I'm going to drop whatever plans I had and go to this school and join this team because that's beautiful." To and be then fair. he goes there. <laughs> to be fair, he was a backup baseball player, so. He he to do well, I mean, <laughs> if anything i would agree with taylor in the sense of like one we know we have uh, a limited set of episodes there's only 12 episodes so again the <sighs> fact that we're not really building out a deep investment in these characters that's a big strike going against it um and i don't think we're gonna get you know that that deeper investment no um but to the point of the main character i feel like it is kind of similar to haikyuu if you think about you know hinata and the reason he decided to become vo- play volleyball was when he saw one of the members from that school playing and in the like, tournament, but his but is he a much more... and did that the whole time. Like he's yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's, yeah. Zoned in. But it's kind of similar where you know he came <laughs> after his baseball practice, but yes, much more far stretched and out there. But uh, no, I totally agree. Where I can't help but feel that this show is taking a lot from other sports animes in terms of its character archetypes and designs. Obviously, you know we have the Kagayama clone, we have Hinata clone now, we have the MC who's to taylor's point and i agree with it's not really lighting a fire under you for any of his driving like factors and so um i think for me again the soundtrack is what i've enjoyed and funnily enough like during all the performances that's when the soundtrack is like really shown um but i i agree that i'm not expecting too much spectacular from it i think we're gonna get you know a few more kind of training type things and then they're gonna have their face off against you know this this rival and Really, I don't know how much farther we go with only twelve episodes. So, well, I mean, we'll we'll get more of that, like the the soundtrack, like the uh, like facing other schools and stuff. This is just like the That's training true. arc. Like it's like because this guy's very far behind, but because of the power of anime, this guy will catch up very quick. Oh, I'm he sure. has to, right? Yeah, <laughs> because of, yeah. So. so I think it'll be fine. But like it's like there because the music is, I think, by far my favorite part because the especially during like the choreography or like the their their um. I guess their performance was mm-hmm. when we got like the high Q sounding vibes. Yeah. Season so, one through three at least. Yeah. But, um, I just feel I mean, like it's... this. Oh, go ahead, Justin. No, no. no. I was just going to say from an animation standpoint, like it's a decent animated show as well. So. It looks really yeah. nice. Like, the way that they use CGI is really good too. It's a good blend. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. they, They'll go in like the CGI and then they'll immediately, like, when they go to the close up looks, they don't just stick with the CGI. It's actually yeah, they go back really to good the animation. Yeah. 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 So, so it's, yeah. What were you going to say, bad. Taylor? Sorry. 
Oh, I was just going to say, you know, I know 12 episodes isn't a lot, but like if you look back on Yuri on Ice, that was only 12 episodes. And that came out like what? That's five or very six true. Years ago. Very and true. Five, yeah. five or six years later, there are still fans like me who are so obsessed <laughs> with Yuri on Ice. And we are still using the same freaking content from those 12 episodes to like make amvs or like find things to discuss about mental health or like there's <laughs> we still have shit to talk about like five years later from those 12 episodes we're a little bit crazy i'll admit it but if like anything, <laughs> they, they owe a lot to uh their opening as well with that history maker song i think that really solidified it as a fantastic series as well oh, no, to <laughs> Dean Fujioka, he yes. did a great job yeah, yeah i that's fair but like even in the first episode you knew that the main character had like depression issues anxiety issues you found out that he went his whole life changed because a dog died you, you there's so much you learn about the main character in the first episode and if nothing else you should flesh out your mc you know what i oh, mean no and totally all we know about um, our mc is he was bored of baseball and he saw <laughs> dance and he was like that's for me and he's really, it was adorable i would give that to him all the characters are adorable like to look at they're just so cute all of them but also yuri and ice came out four and a half years ago okay yeah. Feels like I'm, longer. Yeah. <laughs> I know four and a half years ago, it feels like this damn show just came out like six months ago. If you look at anything online. But man. Anyway, I think All that's right. really it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm good there. Yeah. Yeah.